chemist. Yeah, you know you will get in your farms. Yeah, two times. Two times. Oh, I love those, you know, like people in prism, puddle. Yeah, we were all guessing what the clock I was about to say that, you know, with the prism, you know, or whatever they call it. Yeah, I thought they would come here. Wait, wait, reaching those really hot temperatures is the cooler water above it is applying pressure to it that's how it's getting but it cools on the way it gets to the top um, as we go around I'll show you there's lots of green algae that's living in the water as well the plant life along here likes living here because it's adapted to the geothermal conditions it wow. likes the nice temperature of the water and in the damp environment because of the steam huh. if you look across you'll see terraces on the far side so like the orangey sort of color to them huh. so that's silica terraces so silica has been deposited there and dried and hardening and that's on there is a type of green algae of like green lichen grown across there now the reason why it's not green is it produces the type of protection from it from it drying out in sunlight and it produces it and it goes to that sort of orangey yellowy sort of color oh, so it's protecting well, itself that's not very good i like some of the oh so that's not the, that's not a color uh, color mm. from salt no, no, it's, it's, it's um, yeah. for a type of green lichen. Oh, I see. Lichen. Yeah. And if you look around the side there, we've also got, unfortunately, some invasive species of bull grass around the side there as mm -hmm. well. So that's introduced, that's not native. And these are special lichens that can withstand very high temperatures. Yeah. Very high temperatures. The, the flower in front of us here, it's all gone flowering here in the white flowers. Okay, that's the kanuka. So that's what it turns, when it starts flowering, it goes into that white sort of flower. And that's the female. Oh, where is it? So what we'll do, team, is we'll get the birds. 